This is a live demo, so um, I'm going to be talking as John is playing and watching it here in the monitors. Um, this is not rehearsed. Everything is happening live right in front of you. Um, we've talked to you before, and maybe you've seen the game before, and seen all of the ways that you can play this game, you know, like you saw in the trailer. Guns blazing, fully automatic weapons, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, uh, really playing the game in an aggressive, action-focused way. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to play the game in a kind of a quieter, stealthy way. Uh, these are some of your friends, but what we want to do right now is uh, get in here and set the time to night. Uh, John's going to, this is how you save on console, on PC, of course, you can save anywhere, but John's going to set the time for 1 o'clock in the morning, take a little nap, and go to sleep. This is the only time you lose camera control in the game. The camera cuts outside of the safe house. You can see the weather passing uh, in fast forward, uh, the moon coming up, time passing in fast forward. When you awake, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And now John's going to go and try and complete this mission, or at least the first part of this mission, uh, under the cover of night. He's got himself uh, an MP5 with a flash suppressor silencer on it that's going to allow him to take targets in combat uh, quietly, although not completely silently. He's also got a dart rifle, uh, which fires a... Uh, some kind of tranquilizer, animal tranquilizer. Uh, it's completely silent, uh, effective at uh, intermediate to long range, and can take a guy out with a single hit anywhere in the body. Uh, in addition to that, he's got some IEDs in case he needs to uh, make an aggressive, uh, punchy uh, remote detonation. But we're going to try and keep things subtle this time. Now, I told you uh, we have a 50 square kilometer open world. If you want to pop up on the map, John, you'll see, um, go to the full map. This is a five by five square kilometer area. This is the southern portion of our world. John's objective is the X right in front of the green arrow. Zoom to one kilometer. This is a one kilometer map showing uh, the player where his objective is in relation to sort of the, uh, the immediate environment. And when you approach a, an objective location, you have a, what we call a detail map. This map allows the player to have detailed reconnaissance of the area and also to add information about what's going on in the camp to the map so that he can use it to his advantage. John's going to try and scout this camp out a little bit, and we'll show you a little bit of uh, how you can use that information to your advantage. There, he's, he's using his monocular to zoom in on a sniper on that sniper tower. And by targeting that sniper, he can add information about where that sniper is to the map. Those little circles there indicate that there's a sniper directly ahead on top of the tower. It also shows that there happens to be a sniper off the edge of the map uh, across the gorge. There he's going to add a health station, marking a health kit. We'll add information about all the health kits and ammunition piles that are available to you in the location. Like I said, we have a fully open world. The player's allowed to go where he wants, when he wants, and he's encouraged to play the game using whatever style he's most comfortable with. Uh, and the tools that are available to him. However, we don't want the player to feel overwhelmed. What am I supposed to do? We give the player the tools to make a plan. John's going to use his sniper. Oh, miss. John's going to use his sniper rifle, rifle to take out that uh, that sniper. Again, completely silent, so no one will know what's happening. There's another one on the opposite side of the gorge. If you can get the shot. Again, now that the player has this map, has the ability. To... Oh, he's been flanked. <laughs> Like I said, it's a live demo, so we never know what's going to happen. There's probably a patrol moving through the jungle up there, and someone happened to spot him and went up and flanked him. So now John's, now that he's got this stealth loadout, John's forced into a defensive position. He's got this MP5, which isn't the most effective weapon in a stand-up fight against guys with shotguns, and a dart rifle. He's going to have to improvise quickly. He's going to be badly outgunned if these guys manage to identify him and locate him for real. going to take the objective quickly and probably put some distance between him and the location as fast as possible. Watch out for the snipers. Take the sniper to your left, John. He'll get you. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's his buddy Frank phoning to update him on the mission. Uh, like we said, we only have time Jesus, for a short I heard the demo big boom today. All the way over here. The chief's on his way over to the radio tower. I suggest you hasten to meet him. We had a. We only have a few minutes to show you a, a very quick demo. We wanted to make sure you had a chance to see what the game looked like at night, see some of the new stealth equipment and options that we have in the game, and give you a sense of uh, how the player can minimize his impact instead of just always firing with rockets, uh, playing very aggressively all the time. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll be launching uh, this fall on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC, all simultaneous launch, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks for coming.